It's CONCACAF Gold Cup time for the women, and let's get into it with some introductions. Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Alyssa, and this is my wife, Jasmine, who uses they, them, and I use she, they. We watched several of the CONCACAF games at the Snapdragon Stadium in San Diego, including Brazil versus Panama, which ended up 5-0 Brazil. It was kind of crazy to watch Brazil um, cook up close. But I think the main event that most people will remember from this CONCACAF was the slip and slide game of the year, the water polo match to be watched. It was the USA versus Canada. Here's our lineup with starting with Alyssa Nair, the best goalkeeper around. Um, we had lots of NWSL stars, including I think seven players from Gotham and four from our very own San Diego Wave, including Alex Morgan in her AM7 era, which was honestly iconic. Now, if you don't know anything about San Diego, um, know that most of the year it is pretty sunny and we are poorly equipped to handle the rain. This was one of the many set of puddles on the pitch and you can see the game just kept going. Oh, also flashing lights are going to show up. Um, this is from halftime. So go ahead and skip starting um, now. Let's talk about flashing light shows and why I think that they should be banned from sports events. Um, there's me being a sassy face because light shows like this with flashing strobing lights are well known to be dangerous for sensory sensitive viewers, those who are epileptic, those who struggle with migraines. Um, the part that was really fun was we got to participate with our phones, which could have been just as cool without the stadium lights strobing, um, which can be really detrimental for a lot of viewers. Um, the other thing that makes this difficult is I can't leave. I can't go to my car. I can't take a break. I can't hide in a room. I just have to deal with it. I don't know. Well, there were lots of things happening at this game, um, including watching the ball be as heavy as literally humanly possible. Ooh, um, I think this is Jaden Shaw's goal, and it was really amazing. Here's the replay. Ooh, we thought we kicked it back to the goalie. No, we did not. Jaden Shaw comes in and says, not today, Kaylin Sheridan. This is Jaden Shaw's house. Jaden Shaw is a San Diego Wave player and just scored on another San Diego Wave player, Kaylin Sheridan. It was amazing. Soccer is so fun for me because um, I have the spirit of an athlete, but the physical body of someone who should never play sports and the skills of someone who should never play sports. So being able to be a part of a team um, inadvertently is really cool. Um, here is more shots of the rainiest, wettest evening me and my service dog ever have experienced. Um, luckily, we all have rain jackets, including my service dog. And um, she's a really big trooper for stuff like this because she hates the rain. She is very much a diva about it. And you can tell she's not, you know, she's not feeling that great about the rain happening. One fun fact about my service dog is, oh, doing a check. And I have to check my heart rate. Usually she's right, I would say, 10 out of 10 times. It's usually me that is struggling to comprehend that somehow this animal does actually know when I need to um, <laughs> intervene medically. It's hilarious. And yep, she was right. That's me giving her praise for being correct. One of the things that my service dog detects is changes in my heart rate. Um, so it's really invaluable to be able to have her with me. And I'm really impressed always by how she's able to just be so accurate and so professional and honestly just like really good at her job. 
our household is kind of a soccer household and I am the last person to kind of jump onto that train. Even my Zorus dog can kind of get into it. This was in the second half after the rain had kind of stopped. Um, and we subbed in Lynn Williams, who is amazing. And I think that was a big game changer, especially because we squeegeed the pitch. I don't know. It was a wild night of soccer. Soccer for me is something that I call um, a special interest. I did not originate the term. I don't know why I said I call it that. But soccer is a special interest for me because I am hyper fixated on it. I love it. I think it's the best. I think it's very fun. I love a live sporting event. I really get into the attitude, um, which is another thing Leia has to mitigate because I will burn myself out. Um, because I'll get really excited. And really all right, let's oh. go to the most stressful part of soccer, penalty kicks. It was all tied up even after extra time, and we can't tie in a final, so someone has to win, so we go to penalty kicks. Now, you're about to witness a listener being one of the greatest goalies in the entire world. A moment of silence, please. That's right, a blocked PK. Not only does Alyssa Nair block this PK, but she blocked a total of three and even took one herself, which if you watch the Gold Cup, she's a very familiar with. Um, it was pretty amazing. N no one's ever done it like Alyssa Nair with the PK thing. Um, and this means that the USA gets to move on and face Brazil in the finals. Um, just so proud of Alyssa Nair. Great job. It's an Alyssa thing. It's final time. Let's watch some footy, 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 footy. You will always catch us attending an event early. Um, this meant we were going to get face painted. We got the first set of rally towels for the gold cup. We were very excited. We're going to face Brazil. It's going to be intense. She said, oh, I'm good. I love soccer. It's not her first rodeo. It's true. And after the water polo match, I think Leia can handle anything as a service dog. Oh, yeah. For playing footy, we got a Valvoline pin and some sick socks for the USA team. Fan fests are often full of lots of free items. Here's a shot of everybody's face paint. We've got some rainbow soccer balls. I had a butterfly soccer ball. Yeah, we were having a good time. It was a lot of fun and it wasn't crowded yet. So it was perfect. Uh, also, let's catch some one-on-one -on -one roommates. Throw down. Um, putting in the work here, Brittany and Jasmine. <laughs> so many attacks on goal from Brittany, yet not able to finish in the attacking third. No finishing moves in the attacking third by Seattle native Brittany. A steal and change in possession and Jasmine's cooking, cooking, and cooking the ball all over the edge. Um, the music was a lot, so I had to put my loops in. You know what it is. Um, and this is us. We're about to go see the Gold Cup itself. It's behind us. Oh, look, there it is. There it is. Ah, I hope we win it. These were some of the um, really cute gold cut balls. They were not playing with these. These were just like, I don't know, mock-up designs. I don't know. Either way, they're gorgeous and I love them. There she is. Me and the gold cup. Let's do a little shimmy dance about it. It's pretty exciting. It's kind of weird. What am I supposed to do? Jazz hands. The photographer actually asked me and Leia to stay behind so that they could get some photos of the two of us, and we were happy to oblige. This fan fest was particularly exciting because international soccer star Sam Mewis was going to be there, and I was going to get her to sign my dog's bandana.
if you don't know who Sam Mewis is, then um, maybe you know her sister, Christy Mewis, engaged to other international soccer star, Sam Kerr. Oh my gosh, there she is. There she is. She's so cool. They call her the tower. Leia was doing some weird dancey stuff on the ledge as we were waiting in line. And I couldn't get her to take her butt off of it. But oh my gosh, look, there is the tower. I didn't have a lot of video of us and Sam, but this was one of the photos we took. This is the photo Sam posted on the women's game Instagram. And it was just so cool. And look. She even gave Leia a little heart on the bandana. All right, we're sitting in a new section for the game for the Gold Cup United States versus Brazil final. And I'll say there is no bad seat in Snapdragon, even in ADA. It's amazing. Ugh, here's our lineup. Look at AM7. What a gift. What a gift, truly. Um, just an outstanding starting lineup and really exciting to watch so many amazing players on one team. Here they are, speedily, just getting it fast forward, setting up for the opening ceremony. It was kind of crazy. I loved it. I love the logo for the Gold Cup. I think it's like a seashell tulip. I don't know. Our legacy. Our cup. We can't fill the opening ceremony because there's probably going to be fireworks. Um, but we can reenact it really quick. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> I know. I wish the game would start too. Oh wait, it's about to. You see Brazil doing a final huddle up there. They disperse. Let the games begin. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I did a few um, live from the Gold Cup uh, bits, but it was really such an amazing game. Again, to see such talent is... Well, it kind of has me acting like this. Um, a sneak peek of what it's like to be next to me at a soccer game. Well, I think I made it clear. We won the Gold Cup. Let's set up for the celebration. Um, it was a well-fought game, but they didn't mark Alex Morgan, who was looking amazing. And our team really just came together. Look, let's do some fire shows, which are safe and great alternatives to fireworks or strobe lights. Oh my gosh, they have the cup. Lindsay Horan's coming up to get the Fair Play Award. Um, we also have MVP um, Jaden Shaw. Just... A lot of great work. This tournament had a lot of ups and downs, and it's really cool to see this team pull it out and uh, get us the win. Well, that's the the beautiful story of the game. Um, do you watch soccer? Is that something you're into? Do you have a special interest? Let me know. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And, well, let's say it. Go USA! <laughs>